It's a big World Cup day for Manchester United fans. The Reds will have representatives on the field for each of Monday's three group stage matches. With tournament favourites Germany and Brazil both having been made to look ordinary yesterday, historical disappointment merchants Belgium and England may even start fancying their chances. Sweden vs. South Korea time, 1600 in Novgorod, which works out as 1300 in the UK, 8 o'clock on the east coast of the USA, and a yawning 5 o'clock over on the west. How to watch ITV1 in the UK, Telemundo or Fox Sports 1 in the US, and live soccer TV for the rest of you. How to watch online, ITV player in the UK, or Telemundo stream in the USA. Belgium vs. Panama time, 1800 in Sochi, 1600 in the UK, 11 o'clock on the East Coast, and 8 o'clock on the West. How to watch BBC One in the UK, Fox Sports One or Telemundo in the USA, and live soccer TV for the rest of you. How to watch online, BBC iPlayer in the UK, Telemundo Stream in the USA. Tunisia vs. England time, 2100 in Volgograd, 1900 in the UK, 1400 on the East Coast, and 11 o'clock on the West. How to watch BBC One in the UK, Fox Sports One or Telemundo in the USA. The rest of you, you know the drill. How to watch online, BBC iPlayer in the UK, or Telemundo stream in the USA. Manchester United points of interest in the first game, centre-back Victor Lindelof is a likely starter for Sweden. South Korea are unlikely to provide a stern test, but maybe Lindelof can start convincing some of us that his transfer wasn't utterly pointless. In the second clash, our Romelu Lukaku will be leading the line for Belgium, and Marouane Fellini, technically still a United player for another week and a half, will probably be involved at some point. Lukaku is Belgium's all-time leading goal scorer, and has been regularly finding the back of the net for the other Red Devils as of late, so Belgium's hope of making some noise in this tournament depend heavily on our number 9. Jesse Lingard and Ashley Young are confirmed starters for England against Tunisia, and Marcus Rashford, while carrying a small ankle knock, may be Gareth Southgate's first attacking option from the bench. Phil Jones will be amongst the substitutes as well, but if the answer is bring on Phil Jones from the bench, then something is seriously wrong with the question. England have a young, likeable, attacking team, so it's only a matter of time before the national media turn on them completely. This is our live thread for the day. Join us in the comments below.